I head out. Now then. First I head for the part of the forest where Kudodi and I used to play together. She might have tried to hide there if someone came after her. Let's go! Let's go! They grab onto my shoulders. Eh, you're coming? Shizuru's fine, trust me. Ah, good point. Hmm. Come to think of it, it's not easy to find people in the forest, so the fact that they can fly might help. Okay, let's go. Stay in my bag until we reach the forest. I shove him in. He sticks his head out and makes a ruckus. Pipe down. There aren't many people around, so it's probably fine, but... Hmm? There's a line of cop cars on the side of the road. Is this a checkpoint? I see red strobe lights and black and white patrol cars. I don't get why this is here. It'd be a pain if they asked me why I was out this late. I go through an alley to avoid them. I bet. I walk a bit faster. Hmm? I turn around at the noise. Hmm? Rough metallic noises. What is that? I take out my flashlight. The manhole cover is moving. Oi! Gil sticks his head out of the back. It's nothing, the manhole just. What do you mean? I remember horror movies. This is a very typical situation. If I look into the manhole, it'll suddenly fly open and the monster will come out. Yeah! The side character dies. A chill goes down my spine. Wait. I have a superpower on my side. Is there one down there? Seaweed beams! No. My Aurora Blade. I remember, I remember the image I had in my head the last time I made one. My arm starts to itch. In the flash between my skin and bones, my capil capillaries begin to writhe. Something hot rushes through my right arm. This is it. To put it simply, it's kinda like when you use your arms as a pillow and they get all numb and tingly. Imagine if that sensation was much stronger, and somehow faster. There we go. The aurora starts to form a blade. So tiny. Not as big as last time, only the size of a fruit knife. <coughs> um, my power? I only realized it uh, the other day myself. I hold it up and approach the manhole. Wah! It scares me, so I step back. It's not really... I'm still not that different from before. I approach it again. That's not a human, right? I prepare to attack anything that might pop out. The cover moves. It pushes the cover farther to one side. Then... A giant worm crawls out. What? Wah! I saw a dead one of these in the forest. The worm shakes its body, twisting around as if to get a feel for the area. It's disgusting, to say the least. I know, but... As I hesitate, the worm crawls the rest of the way out. It's long. Definitely longer than the remains I saw before. Eh? By the time he says that, it's too late. The worm curls up its body like a spring and leaps toward me. Hee! I stick out my right hand instinctively. 
a gross sound. My aurora penetrates the worm, making a sticky, fluid noise. It feels disgusting. Wah! I, uh, I swing my hand around, cutting right through it. The worm's head is split in half. No, oh, that was horrible. Ah. Ugh. It smells of blood. A red fluid. Blood pours out of the worm. Why? That much? That would have been bad. Wow. I didn't know that. It was that dangerous? I touched one of these things in the forest. It finally makes sense. That's why the cut I got back then didn't stop bleeding. These things are inside the city now? Ah. There was a rumor about mummified corpses in my neighborhood. Those mysterious deaths were caused by these guys? If so, if I'd killed it back in the forest, no one would have died. Yeah. Ah, uh, why didn't I? I can't hold back the regret. Hmm? I see a shadow moving at the other end of the alley. That's one of the black dogs I've seen before. But if I just let him be, someone else will die. Actually, I've seen these dogs in the city before. Actually, it felt kinda like a cheap replica of the city. The what? You guys know a lot. I start running. If I don't kill it now, then someone... No, I can do this. I hold out my right hand. Aurora swells up, forming a new wrist blade. I can do this. I'll chase it at full speed. I stop near a park. Damn it. But I can't just let it run off and kill someone. Ugh. The fact that he is right couldn't be more irritating. But she should be around here somewhere. I wonder if Gensan and the others are okay. If something like that shows up while they are all drinking and partying, I'd better go check. If he hasn't set up shop here, then there's nothing to worry about. You guys stay hidden for a while. It'd be bad if anyone saw you. Okay, sounds good. They both disappear into the trees. Now I need to get moving. There he is. I see some red paper lanterns. I rush over and see Gensan busily doing something. Huh? Oh, Good evening. <laughs> 
No, not that. Shizuru no Ojo, are you touch the carayo? O maker a gun gun, who's the heat a caneto damidos, eh? Yapayo. I definitely remember that, but more importantly, have you seen any dogs around here? Nanda, Kondo, Tante no Manegotoka. Hi, so I see Neo, me some boy. No, I mean a huge black dog about this size. Kroinuda? Yes. For it deny, oh. Okay. Ome san no ushiro ni iru yatsu kai? Huh? I turn around. Red eyes between the trees. It walks out onto the path, keeping its eyes on me. Crap. It's definitely after me. Mitsukotta ka? Yokatta jane ka. I didn't want to find it. Kyouken no tagui ka? Oh! The stand shakes violently. Another dog just charged into it. Kochi ni mo yaru! Kisa! Gen-san, run! Huh? Jodan ja ne! Konna inu koro nan za karuku sumaki ni shite, soupu no dashi ni shite yara! No, these guys are seriously dangerous. As I say that, it's approaching me. If I take my eyes off it, it can leap on me immediately. So? You! I face it and rush forward. The dog leaps toward me at the same moment. Come on! I'm making you Aurora Blade. Okay. I'm getting used to this thing now. I can bring it out whenever I want. But it takes time to form a hard blade. So for now I wrap it around my fist. Sit down! I punch the dog in the side of the face. Yes! The black dog flies back two or three meters and writhes around on the ground. Gen-san! I need to go help him! Gensan beats up the other dog. Oh! No, it's not! Run! Now! Huh? The dog gets back up. You can't beat these things just by punching them. They are not normal. The dog I just hit also gets back up and heads for me again. Damn it. Gensan, I mean it! You need to start running! I shout without looking at him. I can't afford to take my eyes off the one coming at me. What do I do? Just hitting it won't help. Before it can bite into my arm. I need a blade. My aurora quivers. The moment my three blades take shape, the dog's face is already right in front of them. I swing my arm. The aurora slices through the dog's face, cutting in cleanly into three parts. Yes! Okay, is Gensan still... I told you to run, damn it! The dog seems unfazed by the attacks and continues attacking Gensan. Not good. I reach out. My aurora rushes forward and produces a bright flash. As it slices the dog's head off. I told you to run. I tried to catch my breath. My vision goes black and I feel dizzy. Evidently, I can't use it like that too much. Huh? Eh? Wait, what are you? Gensan opens a drawer in his stand and pulls out a pair of uh, hatchets. I suddenly realize I'm surrounded by more dogs. Five. No. Ten! Why are there so many here? He roars loud enough to spit the air and throws a hatchet toward the dog. It carves through a dog's body. The dog splits into four parts with a tremendous noise. Ah. Did it explode? The hatchet flies back into Gensan's hand. Wow! You're a superhuman too! So you could 
The other dogs start running away. They must have decided they can't win this. Ichimoga. Wait, Gensan, really? Bayern Knights of Guardian? Is he German? A woman's voice comes from behind me. So you could I Nanori or Sango Madiaraste Kurnega, Toka no Georgia. So there are more Shirakarimas. Eh? It's Nishikujo Sensei. Gombanga, Tenosku. Go your skiga kirene. Eh? Eh? Gombans <laughs> Terekasida. Well, are all of you guys a guardian? So you could there. So you could that's an idea soon. Genazi, son? Genady? Kono atari wa kiken da to ita no ni. Ah, wari wari. Gaguni kiken da gara yo. Mima wari yo to. Mmm. Mo. Konka yo i deske do mo. Oh! Toka no jocha mo skari maruku na tane. Tsugi wa okori masu yo. Eh, i. OB,もっと上まいってな。で、天の時間。あ、yes。何か聞きたいことはあるかしら。No, there's tons, but well, I knew you were with them, Shikujo-san, but Gen-san too. 世間は狭いのよ。Ah, of course, he was always with Isaka-san, so. あれや、全部元ガーディアンの部隊の連中だな。The world is extremely small. で。納得してもらったところで。いいえ。先に場所変えましょうか。Huh? At that moment, a ray of light flies into the bushes. I hear something die. What did she just do? I couldn't even see it. ゲナジーさんも早く引き上げてくださいね。しゃあねえな。バカ連中にも連絡入れとくか。もう携帯いじるより先に屋台移動させてください。はいよ。こまけな。エンジェルショネ。またな。あ、バイ。And ah, bye. Bye. thanks. 行きましょう。はあ。Huh. Gensan starts putting stuff away so he can move his stand and we leave the park.